Hello, welcome to Sailor V Tarot. Let's take a look and see what's going on in love. What are the messages at this time? Where's the moon right now? Where's our beautiful moon? What's happening in love? I'm in love with someone else and I won't leave them for you. I'm sorry. Okay, you can go ahead. Someone here is trying to get your person's attention. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, it's like... Mm. I feel like for some of you, someone here is trying to get your person's attention. Okay, there could be some sort of breakup happening. There could be some sort of separation going on. There could be some sort of, you know, uh, distant energy happening at this time. But someone's saying like, yeah, I like you, but I'm still in love with someone else. Okay, so someone here could still have emotions for someone. Take it how it resonates. Take it how it fits your story here. It's saying I'm feeling frustrated with myself right now. I wish I, there was more I could do to fix this. So this for me is literally telling me that some of you are still connecting with someone spiritually, emotionally, telepathically here. We're still connecting, although someone here is trying to get my attention, but I just don't feel like this is somebody here that's doing it for me. Someone's feeling like, yeah, this person's not really doing it for me here. I like them, but I don't know. They're not really making me feel exactly what you made me feel here. So I feel like for some of you, someone here could be like in a rebound energy or there could be an, an energy where maybe some of you were possibly connecting with someone new and you have to be very careful because this person could still be in love with someone else. For some of you, again, this is someone here that you haven't spoken to for a little bit. OK, and they're connecting with someone else and they're saying to themselves, yeah, no, you don't make me feel the way that person makes me feel. OK, so take that how that resonates. Let's get a little bit more. I'm feeling frustrated. They're saying someone here is saying I'm feeling frustrated with myself because I don't know what to do, what to say. I don't know what to say to you. Let's get a little bit more. Ah, Someone here. You Someone here, I feel like they possibly made a choice of taking another direction or they secretly made a choice of choosing a different direction. But it's like now they're not sure how to fix it because, uh, you know, you chose someone else. So if you chose someone else, then go over there, unfortunately. Right. But someone it's like they're still wanting to fix things secretly, quietly in silence. OK, some of you know that this is someone here that still wants to fix something with you. And some of you are still not sure because you're like, well, this person's not saying anything to me or I'm not saying anything to this person, although I'm trying to date other people. But the more I date other people or the more I connect with other people, the more I start to realize that I want to go back home or I want to reconnect with a past person. OK, so we also have an energy of someone here coming in and saying my heart is ready. My heart is ready to embrace this connection. My heart is ready to make this happen. I'm ready to embrace the feelings I have for you. I keep getting this silent vibration though. So for some of you, something's not adding up. How do they say it? The math is not mathing, they say. Someone here is connecting with someone and they're not feeling it. They're not feeling this new person, this new energy that wants to come in or this new energy that used to be a friend that's trying to use this opportunity to come in. I don't feel like it's working for someone. OK, someone here is saying I've been keeping us a secret for a very long time. I've been keeping us a secret for a very long time. I feel nobody really understands our love, our bond. Hmm. What happened here? Someone here may actually confess to someone that they no longer want something to happen. Maybe for some of you, someone here was possibly, you know, just giving something a chance or trying something out. But now I feel like someone here is going to be honest with someone and tell them like, look, I don't think this is going to work because there's still some sort of unfinished business that I have with someone else here that still needs to, you know, get cleared up is what's happening. OK, so, you know, for some of you that are connecting with someone new, please make sure, you know, communicate. Right. You know, hopefully this person, you know, gives some sort of honesty or there's some sort of honesty that comes into play. But someone here doesn't look like they're over somebody. For some of you, I feel like this is a past person here. And you may or may not know that this person has been connecting with other people, but maybe they're ending something with someone here. OK, especially with that detached energy that we had a few days ago. Someone here is detaching or starting to realize, like, hey, you're not doing it for me. OK, let's get a little bit more. Of course. All right, let's see. All right, it states distance between us. Yeah, I like that. 
I like this. I like this. Distance between us has made me realize. I'm telling you, something, something's happening. Something's cooking here. Someone here is starting to realize, and I, I feel like this happens a lot, especially in relationships, where someone, you know, the last for distance or distance is taken for whatever reason or distance is created for whatever reason here. And now someone is coming in and saying, like, the distance between us has made me realize just how important you are to me. I've made some wrong choices. Someone here chose someone else and they're starting to realize that was the wrong move. Okay, let's, I just want you to see it. They're starting to realize like that was all the way the wrong move. That was not something I should have done here. I want to clarify this energy. I just want to clarify it here. Let's get some clarifications on this vibration. What is the clarification on this energy, please? You're always on my mind. This is an ex-lover here, okay? Someone here is still connecting with a past lover, whether it's you or your person. Of course, again, take this how this resonates, okay? But there's an energy of someone here looking back and saying, we're not over, we're not done. As much as you may think we're done, we're not done here. We still have some things to adjust. We have some things to talk about. We have some sort of communication here that... I'm still trying to figure out. It's like I'll text and then I'll delete. I'll look at text messages and I'll try to see where I could slide in, fit in. Maybe I could say something. I keep feeling it's not the right time here. For some of you here, and I, you know, again, you could be connecting with a new person. Possibly you met this person a few months ago or a little bit longer. And this is someone here that's still not over their ex. Okay, I have to put that in there because that happens, right? Unfortunately, so... Someone here is still saying, I'm still thinking about my ex here. But a lot of you that are watching, this is you connecting with someone. And this person's like, wow, you're always on my mind. And I feel like in the last couple of days, hours, whenever you watch this video, you'll find like I've been thinking about this person a little bit more lately. Just a little bit more. And I feel like someone here, you know, and this could be you. Maybe it's like I tell everybody around me that this doesn't matter anymore. Right. I tell people that this doesn't matter anymore. I come off like this doesn't matter anymore. I don't really communicate how I'm really feeling here. The reason I say this is because someone's saying my secrets or or my feelings are a secret. <laughs> yeah, my feelings are a secret. And someone is saying that very clearly. I keep my feelings for this situation a secret. I don't open up about how I feel about it. I don't open up to anybody around me. I try to remain in silence here. But for some of you, if this is your person trying to be secretive, I feel like there's a telepathic connection between you, the two of you here. That it's like every time I close my eyes, I feel that energy. I feel that you want to connect. I feel that you're thinking of me. I feel that you want to communicate. Now, in terms of what's taking this person so long to come forward, of course, everybody's going to be different. But I feel like someone here is coming in and saying, I have so much to say. I have so much to express to you. Anything else? Let's see. Anything else? Anything else going on that my viewers may not know of? I feel like for some of you, this is someone here that is keeping their feelings or you're keeping your feelings a secret. And someone's not really expressing how they're feeling. I feel like this is more of like... I think about it, but yet there's like this resistant energy to act on it. And I don't feel like I should act on it at this time. All right. We have this energy. I feel like someone here is trying to get into someone's heart. What I mean by that, whether it's you or your person, there's this energy of a third party possibly. Okay. We'll call them that. I don't want to call anybody an intruder, but a third party possibly saying, why won't you let me in? Why won't you let me into your heart? Why won't you open up to me? And I feel like this is something where someone here is purposely not opening up or just not able to open up to a new person or a past person because they feel like I've already met my person. So I'm locking my heart up. I'm not opening up here. So for some of you that are connecting with someone and you feel like this person's rigid or this person's not opening up to me, ask yourself, is this person over their ex? And for some of you, you know, a lot of you, I feel like a, a huge percentage of you, a lot of you are, are connecting with someone currently. And I feel like this person's having trouble with, with actually opening up to someone new in their life. It's like there's like this battle. 
Okay, I'm also getting an energy for some of you here where someone here may be lying about connecting with new people or lying about going back to a past lover. That's what, another energy that I'm getting for some of you too. So don't take everything that your ex may be saying um, as word. Okay, because I feel like someone here is also using some sort of like magician type energy, like a trickery energy to get you to possibly feel or even act on something. Because I feel like there's an energy of I'm afraid of acting on something and hopefully you'll do it first type of vibe that's going on here. Okay, so let's dig a little bit deeper. All right, we're going to look at, of course, where things are going moving forward. Anything else? Anything else? that we have here wow wow <laughs> wow for all the awes and stuff like that someone here is still in love both of you could feel this so powerfully both of you could feel this beautiful energy of love and I feel like yes